Hey guys, I have some important Yankee news for you. Number one, pitching news. Number two, Aaron Judge news. Okay. By the way, I'm not going to stop bringing out the news. So I don't want you to miss anything. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so right now. Um, because as we get closer to the trade deadline, things are going to pick up. They're going to get nuts. And I'm going to give you every bit of news, particularly when it comes to the Yankees, as I possibly can. And I don't want you to miss any of it. So um, with that, let's get to the pitching news first. Um, Aroldis Chapman has commenced a rehab assignment at double, uh, double A Somerset. So um, I guess he'll throw a couple games there and we'll see how he does. Personally, I think they should bring him up to Triple A after Double A. Don't just send him. Don't just bring him back to the minors because he's Aroldis Chapman. No. Okay. Let's not disrupt the momentum we already have. Okay. Let him do a couple in Double A. Let him do a couple in Triple A. Let him find himself. I don't want him experimenting on finding himself here at the major league level where he's all over the place. You know, he's either unstoppable one game and then he's terrible for two. So we need to get some kind of consistency before bringing him back to the, to the majors. So that's just my opinion, but I'm not the pitching coach, but that's what I would do. Now, the more important stuff. Aaron Judge, as we know, today's the arbitration hearing. The Yankees proposed $17 million earlier uh, when the season started. The Aaron Judge camp uh, counter-proposed with $21 million request. The Yankees, uh, over the last couple of days, and I just found out this out myself, they countered with $19 million, the midpoint of compromise. Okay, Judge said no today. He rejected it. So he's betting on himself again. Now, this to me is different than free agency. To me, I think giving him the $21 million would be an appropriate uh, pay for this guy. He's earned it this year. Look what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> and again, this is paying for this season. This is not free agency where it's a completely different beast where you give somebody a monster contract and hope that you get maybe get a third of productive years or elite years while you're paying two-thirds of it for declining years and overpaying drastically. This is different, okay? And I'm of the opinion that he should get the $21 million, not a cent less, okay? Now, who knows what's going to happen, but I think the Yankees it would be wise to as a, especially in a good faith and as a matter as a testament to his production this year, give the guy the twenty one million that he earned. Now we're only two million apart. And again, it's a seven billion dollar franchise. I know they don't want to set a precedent by, you know, not winning or overpaying for arbitration and blah blah blah, but this one's an obvious, guys. Cashman. Obvious. Obvious, obvious, obvious. Why haggle over the two million dollars when it's it's chump change to you guys? Particularly when it justifies completely his production and his worth this year. It's not even close. It's not even close. And again, yes, this is different than free agency. Free agency is about getting overpaid for a bunch of years. While very, very rarely does a person or a player give that type of uh, return on investment. Max Scherz is the only one I can think of recently that's given a return on investment to what the Nationals pay for him. Every cent he was worth. I, don't, I can't think of not even... And the many players on a hand, that's justified the return on investment on a big contract. Scherz is one of them. And I, hands down, he's my number one. So, but, that's skin. That's free agency. That's different. And again, he's on the wrong side of 30, so there's some things working against him. But his production, as of right now, justifies giving this man the $21 million that he's asking for. Don't hesitate. Please, guys. Give it to him. Let's not start anything contentious here. Okay, we're on a good – we're going to good roll here. And, you know, he, <laughs> the last couple games, he's earned <laughs> – he's earned this $21 million himself. He's making a hell of a case for himself, guys. So what the hell are we doing here? So anyway, that's the news. He is betting on himself again. That's the news about Aroldis Chapman, too. I will keep it coming one way or another. Talk to you next time.